Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we are looking at the luckiest Vault of Glass run in history. Um, so hit that like button if you like the amount of crazy luck that I get in this video. Let's try and get this video to a thousand likes just for the sheer amount of luck involved in these drops. So since House of War has been announced and you can upgrade old weapons, I wanted to go back into the Vault of Glass and get two weapons, specifically the Fatebringer and the Vision of Confluence. So, I got the Fatebringer a couple of weeks back and I've upgraded it and maxed it out and I have just need that one. I don't need any more Fatebringers, that's all I need is just that one because, you know, I can just use the app to switch them around. In this video, you're going to see my second Fatebringer drop. But before you see, well, you don't get to see it, but before that drops, I actually got the Praetorium Foil. Praetorium Foil is one of the rarest drops in Vault of Glass. I got it from the Oracles, and unfortunately, I didn't actually wasn't recording at the time, but I did get the Praetorium's Foil in this run. I then followed it up by getting the Fatebringer. The Fatebringer was dismantled instantly because I didn't need it, and I just wanted the energies and stuff to level up the other weapons that I may get. But I was in this raid specifically, for the Vision of Confluence because I believe that is going to be a monster when fully upgraded to 365 in House of Wolves. So going through all the different areas and different sections where you can get loot, I managed to actually get a chest piece and a helmet for the Titan. Not too fussed about them but you know it's nice to have them drop. They look pretty cool. May choose to upgrade them in the future to the new defense level and use them as armor if they seem good enough but you know i'm not going to complain i got a chest piece and a head piece as well as the fate bringer and the praetorian's foil so we carried on through and through and through and i managed to get the he's and vengeance to drop which is just insane that gun is pretty damn beast and it's a great replacement for my missing third galahorn you know pretty pretty useful drop there and then, last but not least, I managed to get the Vision of Confluence. So, I never have to run Vault of Glass again. I probably will, but I never have to run it again. Because I got all these weapons in one run. The Praetorium Foil, the Fatebringer, the He's and Vengeance, the Vision of Confluence, and I think I'm forgetting one. Ah uh, yes, of course, I am forgetting one, one that I almost forgot to mention. Out of the exotic Gorgon chest, I managed to receive the Icebreaker, which is probably the most useful exotic in the game. Um, so, you know, extremely, extremely lucky with the drops in in the Vault of Glass because my Icebreaker did go to the Postmaster because I didn't have space for it as, as I picked it up. So, you know, how lucky can one person be? Praetorian's Foil, Fate Bringer, He's in Vengeance, Vision of Confluence, Icebreaker, Chest and Helmet all in one single run. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, drop a like. Leave some comments about how lucky I am. Leave some likes about how lucky I am. Subscribe about how lucky I am. And I will see you in the next video.